Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, rather gorgeous um, Rover P5B Coupe, uh, 1971. Um, been refinished in its original Admiralty Blue with silver birch roof uh, with buckskin leather. Um, as I say, absolutely gorgeous. I'm using it daily at the minute. The last owner, a well-known motoring historian and writer, had it for the last 15 years and had it restored, I think it was finished about 11 years ago by um, RJ Spratley, who are a well-known uh, Rover restorer. Um, Mileage-wise, it's showing uh, 97,000 miles. That will go up slightly because I'm actually using it daily as I say at the minute. Um, basically, standard spec car. It's fitted with a matching set of um, Vredestein uh, Sport Classic tyres, matching set of uh, four. It's got rear mud flaps on it. Uh, it's got um, rear headrests as well, which is uh, very unusual on a coupe. Um, rear seat belts, halogen headlamps, um, manual choke control, uh, uprated radiator, just a few bits to make it just um, a bit uh, a bit easier to use on a on a daily basis. But uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous. We'll go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Very few bad bits, it's fair to say. Um, paint finish is excellent, especially considering it's now say 11 years old. It has been garaged um, all the time since it's been um, it's been restored though, and say so only done about I think about 10, 11,000 miles. But uh, all around the front end here, it looks lovely. The chrome isn't. Um, I don't think the chrome was redone at the time, so the chrome is actually largely original. Actually, that side of the blade may have been redone, but perhaps not this. In fact, we might have to give that a bit of a polish. It's just a little bit pitted here and there, but um, uh, it's got sort of the, the chrome has got a patina to it, shall we say? But it's not lifting anywhere or anything nasty. And some of the Mazak bits um, are obviously pitted, as you'd expect. But uh, all looks lovely there. Looking down the near side, looks really straight and true and nice. So RJ Spratley did a really, really good job on it. Um, near side front wing is great, and around here it all, it's all as exact as it should be, all around there. And uh, jacking points are all in place and stuff. Um, shut lines are all good around here. Around the screen here it's all nice. Um, and apparently it doesn't leak, so I'm told. As I say, it hasn't really been out very much until uh, I've got my hands on it. Um, near side door is spot on looking all round there, finish is great, let's have a little look inside. Um, interior wise it's got the buckskin leather, the interior isn't absolutely perfect shall we say but it's just very nice and sort of you know slightly worn let's say just like here on the on the door pockets and things. Um, this bit of fur flex up here could do with replacement just on the edge of the driver's door here but um, all the headlining is all nice. Passenger seat looks like someone's recolored it at some point in the past. There's a few sort of coloring marks in the buckskin, um, but it's all quite nice from that point of view. The carpets are good on the passenger side. Let's say, just you know, it looks like a, a, a nicely lived in interior, really. There, um, that all looks good. Uh, near side rear door, fantastic again, no problems there, and all looks good there. In the back here, so it's got rear seat belts in it. Um, which aren't really period ones, but at least they do the job. Slight nick in the um, in the leather, just on the base of the near side rear backrest, just there. And there is a slight split, which apparently was from a child seat. Goes from there to there on the uh, the cushion on the um, the near side rear seat, just along there. But otherwise, it's all very good in there. <coughs> uh, the D posts and everything are as good as you'd expect. It's all very nice. Um, and the inner of the door there is all good. Can't really find anything. <coughs> Excuse me, I miss with that at all. Um, very, very slight bit of paint lifting just here on the um, the top of the um, the rib up here, which is not uncommon. Just a little bit of paint lifting there, but it's very, very minor. Uh, near side rear arch is all good. Near side rear bumper's good. As I say, slightly pitted here and there, as you'd expect. The paint wasn't the chrome wasn't. Um, uh, wasn't redone and there's some pitting on the light units um, not that one that's actually fairly new but on the top of the uh, uh, the number plate surround that light unit is a bit pitted um, older chrome on the uh, um, on the bonnet uh, on, on the boot release should we say um, all good around here it's all nice boots full of my stuff the boots actually properly trimmed it's got all the right bits in it um, and it all looks quite nice in there. Which I'll show you very quickly. I'd say full of uh, full of, load of my, my gear. 
but it's all nice in there. Um, looking down the offside, really, really good again. Driver's door fit isn't absolutely perfect. It just does slightly bow out very slightly at the bottom there, but that's um, uh, probably it's got new rubbers on it, I should think. Um, offside rear wing is all excellent. Same here, tiny bit of uh, just pub bubbling and paint cracking just on the very top of the, uh, the seam just up there. But the D-post is all in great shape. Uh, Interior-wise on the offside here, it's all very good. Apart from the, the B to C post trim is very worn on the base just there. Um, really could do with replacement to set it off a bit better. Um, the carpet's a bit stained in the offside here as well. Doors all shut nicely there. Driver's door spot on again. We'll come back to inside in a minute. It's all good up here on the scuttle corner. Fit is nice. Offside front wing is all excellent there. And you can probably see inside here, it's all exactly as it should be in there. As I say, Spratlys are very well known for the, uh, the quality of their work. See, I've got my daughter to polish this. I don't think she's quite down the bottom of the driver's door. But it's all very good still, apart from that. Um, yeah, this B2C post trim is... Uh, not um, not wonderful, could do with replacement there. Last oil change at 96.655, it's now done 96.839, so uh, very new oil in it. Um, driver's seat is very, very good, apart from just the usual wear area here in the, the very base of the, um, the offside outer bolster, just there. But all the other bits are all nice. Has been recolored, I think, at some point. Um, driver's footwell carpet isn't bad at all, it's just slightly split along here where the mat lifts up and stuff. But as I say, the interior's got the, the air of being lived in, shall we say. Um, driver's door, driver's door um, trim's all nice. As I say, the driver's door just sits about sixteenth of an inch out a little bit, but that's uh, very, very minor. That's it, really. It's just lovely. Um, as I say, I'm using it every day, no problems whatsoever. It's a great old bus, it really is. Um, my kids love it as well. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906. 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can uh, deliver it or ship it anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. And